Alrighty, so here we are ready to start gameplay. I will be playing Boomer, who is a ranged kind of explosive specialist. Um, you may notice I have a bunch of special dice already on my, you know, unlocked area there. Um, the character sheets will indicate with a circle around it if it's something you start with. You'll also notice that some of them have stars next to them. What that indicates is that um, it's a skill you can get, you know, with your training points without a prerequisite. If I wanted, say, Big Boom here, I can't just get that directly because it's not a star skill. I would first have to get Frag or Stunner and complete a path over to Big Boom. Um, so, uh, these are what I use to track the components I have for building explosives. And this is how many explosives I currently have built. Uh, which unfortunately is none at the moment, but what are you gonna do? Such is life. Mm -hmm. So that is me. All right. Um, as you saw in this introduction, I am playing Pickett. He's kind of a defense, take all the damage kind of guy. Um, he does not start with anything. Um, so you can see his skills have a couple of stars, but no circles. Um, yeah, that's that's who I am. Okay. So. so the first thing we do in a day is reveal our event, which I like uh, this cool yeah, cover the cover because there's flavor text on the one side. Um, go ahead and show them the card if they want to read the flavor text. They can just pause it or what have you. Yeah, the first three are generally the same. Okay, so that's probably good enough there. All right, so here's our choice. We can either uh, squeeze in some last-minute self-improvement. This symbol means there's no battle. So no choice results in a battle this time. So we either get two training points or one training point and a loot. And in either case, we'll get a progress point. Yep. Because we can't actually fail this card. So Personally, uh, I prefer training points. Yeah, to start out with, I like the training points. Uh, so... We each have two to spend. Anytime the training point symbol shows up, it means one per person. So it's not like you have to divvy them up or anything. Mm -hmm. um, let's see I'm going to start by upping my dexterity. Yeah, dexterity is something you can just choose to up. You don't have to roll or pass a test or anything. I'm going to as well because my character needs to roll a crazy amount of dice to do anything. Um, then after that, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to get the frag skill. This is one of my explosives, and if I were to not get that, I wouldn't actually have anything to do with my bombs. I'm going to go ahead and up my health. That way I have a um, block for you. I put it mm -hmm. so I can stand in the way, and when you get a health, you get another... Token. Okay, excellent. So, that was our event. And if you can see, I can never finish to pick this up. You can see on the neat little uh, adventure routine chart here, we did a new day. You don't turn the counter on the first day, obviously. Uh, we drew our encounter and resolved it, dividing up the training points and logging progress and so on. Uh, and now we're in the recovery phase, where we've got our choice between lock picking, which we can't do because we have no locks to pick, uh, trading in loot to try and get better loot, which we don't have any loot yet, so we can't do that either, or um, healing up to full, which we already are, or the final option, scouting ahead. So, uh, I think I will go ahead and scout ahead. And you take the one generic D6 in this game. <laughs> only one. And roll it. Okay, a two means I can only reveal a one point baddie. And either put it back revealed or put it on the... Wait, can you put it on the back with this one? I think you can with regular huh. scouting, not the character specific one. Um... You may cycle to bottom. Yeah, yes. okay. So, uh, let's see. A troll romper. He has three hit points, two initiative, one attack die. He has thick skin one, which means any time you do damage to him, it's reduced by one. But he's careless, which means when he rolls a bone, he hurts himself. 
and, and he's melee. And he attacks the weakest. Yeah, the little guy in the targeting circle there means he wants to go after whoever has the least hit points. Ty, we get to choose. Unless um, there's but, somebody right in front of him. Yeah, their priority is always going to be whoever they can reach first. But if they have an equal choice, he'll aim for the weaker character. Yep. So that's really not so bad. I think I'll just no. put him back in front. Oh. Well, so what will you do? I will scout. Ah, four, I think, means you can do up to a five, if I, I remember so. correctly. Uh, yeah, reveal one point baddie, or four to five, reveal up to a five. Yep. All right, well, I will reveal a five. Okay, what do we got here? We have a orc skull, skull breaker. Okay, he, he taunts. taunts which means if you're adjacent to him, orthogonally, of course, this game doesn't do a lot of diagonals, um, then uh, you have to target him. He's also and callous. callous. So what is callous? Uh, this unit can only lose HP from damage dealt by attack dice. Ah, so yeah. um, you can't, like, say, bomb him, in my case. Right, and he's got a four initiative and two attack, and he attacks two targets. If possible, if he's he melee, so, it. yeah. Um... That's really not so bad, it's honestly. It's not. So I'm going to leave him out. And it's going to be a little while before we're hitting five-point baddies. So. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that ends our day. So now we're going to start her over, advancing to day two, and seeing what that event is. All right, there's the flavor. Yeah, so go ahead and pause it if you want to read it. I recommend doing it in a high-pitched voice. These guys are tiny, as yeah. they're described. They're so, you know, we're probably thinking Alvin and the Chipmunks here. <laughs> okay, so what are our choices? Ah, you can see from this symbol, both of the choices are going to result in a fight. We can either get some help from the guards, in which case uh, the bad guys will take true damage each round, which means thick skin and stuff like that doesn't work. Um, or, if we go it on our own, we'll get a bonus training point. Either way, if we survive and succeed, we'll get a training point, and the multiple chests means we each get a loot. If it's a single chest, we would get the one loot and have to figure out what to do with it. Yep. Uh, oh. Yeah, so we'll probably go with the less safe option. We can take them. Yep. Because uh, baddie points right now is only going to be four. Yep. Two players on day two. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have created our baddie queue here. So we'll start, start uh, doling out some hit points. This guy has three, so I'm going to give him three chips. And place him in the melee spot. You can see it's even numbered. One, two, three, four, the order you put it out in. So we'll put him in the melee spot. And his initiative being a two, we'll find the two on his die, put it over here. And let's see, number two. Ooh, Hardy. Hardy is annoying. Oh, ouch. Hardy means he can only take one damage on a turn. No matter how many sources it's coming from or what have you. It's green. No, it's not. I oh, know. <laughs> My apology. Also, he's sure. compound. Which means he's going to get an extra attack die per round. His attack dice are equal to the round number. That's a definitely clearer way of saying what I said. So let's see, and his initiative is a six. So he's a zippy little bugger too. We'll definitely want to try and get rid of him quickly. All yeah. right, who's next? We have a orc dandy. <laughs> okay. Who for dandy. some reason is callous. You would think a dandy would be, you know considerate or something, but mm. he's callous. Okay, which again means that uh, only regular attack dice will actually hurt him. This Four hit fun. points. And I, I should have my attack. An initiative of two. Most of these guys are pretty slow, so we've at least got that going on. And then, oh, really slow. Thick skin, careless, troll, brute. Oh, but oh. he actually has defense dice, which is interesting. Yep. Alright, so his initiative is a one. He's really slow. 
So odds are we're going to go before everything except that stupid kobold. We'll see. Our dice aren't exactly there. Yeah, it's not an even... It's not like a one to six on our initial As dice. You can see, I've if got you look three at the character threes. sheet, it will actually tell you what the breakdown is. I've got a two, three, four, four, five, six. Wow, that's a almost even. Yeah, she's pretty zippy actually. Yeah. A lot As of you characters can see don't on my die. Six. No, I don't. I yeah, have a lot I of characters don't. Two twos, three threes, okay, and a five. Okay, so we're gonna figure. We're gonna roll our initiatives and figure out where to put Oh look, a three. I'm so surprised. Right, and I have a four, so it makes it all fairly cut and dry there. Um, hmm. I'm ranged, so it's really less important where I am. Yeah. Uh, let's see, and that guy wants strongest anyway, so I'm probably safe just parking my butt in this corner. Yeah, you may want to get there so you can get in there and start punching that kobold. If we're lucky and each of us can hit him at least once, then... We should be able to take him down this round yep. before he gets all crazy. Okay, so then we just start round one with initiative one, which is Mr. Kobold, who unfortunately wants to attack me because he's ranged, which means he can hit anywhere, and he targets the weakest. So he's going to roll his currently one attack dice against me. Oof. And that's Ouch. as bad as it could have possibly been. Yes. So I am down to one stinking hit point. Oh. Okay, so my turn. Um, I'm going to gamble that we can take him down. So I'll take an attack die for one of my dexterity, and the other three I'm going to use to try and build me a boomer. Okay. Okay, well, that was acceptable. Yep. So we'll take one of his hit points. And ugh, these were not as great as they could have been. They go up to three. So I'll take them and I can I lock them immediately. And I'm just going to go ahead and spend one of each, which those two are now exhausted for the round, and reduce this one to one to build myself a single exciting boomer which means i can now use things like say my frag grenade that require boom counters Woo. so that so, is me on my turn i will use one of my dexterity to move up into the super line of fire and then i will use the other two for one defense and one attack I'm Boom. assuming you were targeting the kobold. Oh, yes, sorry. You have to announce what you're targeting before uh, you roll. You're right. But... I was targeting the kobold. Yay. So we have murdered him. Yes. So he goes in the defeated foe area. Which I'll just is on stick the, it over yeah. here because I can reach it. Yep. That's, that was actually my plan. And, um... If there were more baddies in the queue, we would try and spawn one in purple, but there aren't, so we yes. won't. And I rolled a bone with my defense die. Which, so. a bone is a fail, essentially, but we've got what's called a backup plan, which is a series of abilities we can use by paying bones to activate them. Oh, I forgot to use they my They do all innate. kinds of nifty little things. You forgot to what? Use my innate ability. Ruh row. Oops. Ruh row. I'll have to use it next battle. Yeah, well... Like I said, filming makes you stupid. It does. Or like I say, I haven't said yet in this video until it just now. Just now. Okay, so that was you, yes? Yes, that was me. So number two, the blue, is already next to an acceptable target. So he'll roll his one attack dice against you. Oh, and fail. Oh, and he's and careless. And smack himself so in the face. So he actually punches off one of his own hit points. Yep. Sweet. That was as good as it could have been. Yep. Next up is yellow who cannot reach a valid target. They only get to move two spaces. So we get to choose if he's going to go this way or this way. From up top, that way yeah. he's headed for me. I'd rather yeah. me than you, because I have the hit points. Well, he's going to be headed to you anyways, because you're yeah. the first one oh. he'll reach. And he likes strong. Yeah, that's true. So, so, yeah, in no circumstance is he interested in me. Yep. Okay. So that was yellow. So now green gets one of each kind of die. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have handed you that. That's fine. Gets a one and a one. So you take one measly damage. 
Ooh. Not too shabby, considering. Yep. Okay, so now we switch the round over to two. Yep. And start back to the, oop, ah, should have taken purple's dice out. Yep. At the top of the initiative, which would be me. Yep. And I could boomer, but it's what if I do, it's going to hit, uh, it's going to hit picket two, which I don't think I want to do at this juncture. <laughs> um, then, no, then again, I could target him with it, and it would only splash to him. That would be okay. Um, yeah, so maybe I will do that. I don't want to risk you getting overwhelmed. It's too early in the game. We don't have a lot of escape hatches. Oh, yeah. I think I'll roll some other dice, too, while I'm at it, actually. This might be a good plan. Uh, let's see. What would you like? Defense dice. I can roll my exact breakdown here. Nice. Oh, shoot. Uh, I was targeting him in case... He already that... said that. Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, all right. Uh, ooh, spicy. So... Did you get the two? I did. Nice. So, this guy is super dead. <laughs> he takes five points of damage and dies in a fire. Yes. Because, uh, thankfully, right. he doesn't have thick skin or hardy. Yes. That is thankful. Ooh, wait. It's me. I grabbed a yellow die. Well, your yellow too. Okay, and so this guy takes half. I think it's rounded down, unfortunately. <clears throat> so one. Round down, yeah. So one. Oh, his thick skin. Oh right, yeah, thick skin. Yeah, it's eaten by thick skin and that boo. 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 Oh well, it was still cool. It was. And normally, a skill die once used is exhausted, which means it can't be used again for that combat, mm -hmm. but my, uh, my, my dice are mostly an exception to that. Um, I can use my explosives repeatedly. Don't I don't you have think to count down this your stuff I can. Oh, yes, yes. Yep. But they're not expended, per se, most yeah. of them. Some of my stuff is, of course. Like the... All right, so I've got two defense sitting on myself, well, and I am done. What would you like well, What to do? would I like to do? Well... I am obviously going to roll an attack die. I will also roll two defense dies because Why not? that's what I've got. And I'm going to... Ouch, I don't have a lot of chance with either of these. Without rolling a two, I should Yeah, unfortunately they're both thick skinned. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to aim for the green one. Because maybe I can take a... No, I'll, I'll get the blue, blue one. Yeah, blue's lower on health. I'm going to attack the blue one and hope I can roll a two. Or... Bones. Um, well, one. I have a defense. But you get a bone for your backup plan. I have a bone for my backup plan. Which is uh, not so bad. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah. So then blue is going to go... And roll his one amazing die against you. You're done, right? Yeah, I'm done. Which does one off your armor. Ooh. Green roll roll his one amazing die. He doesn't roll another defense die because it's already it's active. Medium. So he's at his limit. And gets a boon. Cool. Yes. And carelesses himself. Which is very nice. Which, yeah, it's pretty much how okay. they're going to kill each On other. On round three. And it's my turn. I do not have a lot of options at this point. I'm going to take back my defense dice and re-roll them. I'm actually kind of hoping more for bones, because I have cool stuff I can do with them. So, we'll see. I'll target blue, of course. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter at this point, but I'm going to target blue. Okay, I'm really kicking myself for not doing my innate. Okay, so I got a boon, which is cool. Uh, and this does nothing, unfortunately. So that's my turn. Yeah. Okay, watch my amazing turn. I should have upgraded my attack, is what I should have done. Yeah, and, uh, we're not a super offensive group this early in the game. I have a lot of defense. Yes, you do. If nothing else, we'll win this through I fatigue rounds. Right? Well, okay. because so I'll be So blue attacks out. you, takes one of your dice, and green attacks you. Takes your dice down by one. And there we go. Round four. Yeah, see the main problem with my backup plan is it's counting on me having things in my active slots. Mm. 
which, because I didn't do my innate or have anything else, I don't have. Mm. Just the one. Okay, so you? Me. Yeah, I think there's only one two on the die. Yeah, we could be yep. here a while. Well, until <laughs> fatigue kills me. That was going to kill me first, sadly. Yep. But I could sit here forever. Pretty much. Okay, so, so next. Oh, yeah, round five. We can always cross our fingers that uh, they roll a lot of bones. I'll try blue again. Oh, I thought it was know. blue's turn. Was it? I just went. Oh, okay, sorry. Blue hits you for one. Green. Ha ha! Sweet. Get some salt picks. Let me have one of these back. Okay, so I just rolled a crap ton of bones on my turn, which may actually give me something I can do. Since I'm going to die next round from fatigue, I may as well do something if I can. Hmm. Dang it, I need one more bone to do anything meaningful. Hmm. What can your bones do right now? Uh, re-roll a scavenger die I just rolled. Hit a target for one. Uh, mm -hmm. But you missed on your attack die. Yeah. Because if, if you did not. my wounds. Yep. Okay. So I guess that's it for me. What do yep. you got? Oh, right. Um, let me go ahead and reroll this. Okay. Spicy. Can't even get bones. Okay, so all future rounds are blood drop or fatigue rounds, where at the start of the round, everything on the board takes one true unblockable, unstoppable, unblah blah blah damage. damage. Which, unfortunately, KOs me. Bye, Boomer. I'll see you in a little bit. And green as well, actually, which is better. So. And it takes blue down to one. Yep. And you lose a hit point as well. Yeah. I'm really worried about that. Okay. So, so your turn. Yeah. I'm going to take this. These guys. You got a bone. Wah, wah. Which I could re-roll my dice with. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use it and reroll my attack die. And still get a one. Never mind. Alright. So blue's gonna attack me. And get my damage. Start of the round, blue dies, I take a damage. Battle over in the saddest possible way. Do 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 do. I did that. Bam. Alrighty, excellent. Excellent. Uh, I think I'm going to choose to exhaust this because otherwise I'll lose it for the next battle as soon as I use it one time. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather not have You'd it. rather try and have, you know, and you lose More. your bones. Bye bones. Okay, oh yes. You don't get to keep bones. Most stuff you don't keep battle to battle. All right, so that puts us uh, into uh, resolving the encounter there, which was, uh, what did we get out of that? Two training points. And a loot. And a loot each, okay. So we each get a loot. Regular, not the special stuff. Ooh, fortunate discovery. Hmm. I will take some gobby jerky. I think I will let you have this one. Oh. It's kind of much more better for you. It's a last desperate stay alive. Yeah. Here, I'm using this. Okay. Unless you have a consumable that you absolutely want. Uh, I don't think I'm dying for any of these. Okay. I mean, mine are cool, but not like can't live without them. I got me some gobby jerky. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we're in resolution, so we'll spend our two training points. Yes. 
I'm going to... Hmm. I think I will take my body search ability. So I'm going to up my attack ability. Um, and to do that, you roll an attack die. Well, you roll a die per point you have in the skill. Yes, so if and I had if, two, I would roll two. And if any of them are bones, you fail the attempt and have to use the point on something else. Right. But I didn't fail. So. Let's see, both health and attack are now quite roll two. appealing. And then I'm going to <laughs> upgrade to use this one. Stay in my ground. I guess I Because it's at the star, so I have to start here in this particular circle. And my personal action for the round, now that we're done spending our stuff, is to rest and recover. It has to be that, because I was, you know, okay. dead. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do the same, because full health is always... And we have no locks to pick and Truth. such and stuff. Yep. Okay. So now we start a new day, advancing the day counter. Yeah. And what do we have? We have... And across... The river. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Neither one's a fight encounter. We can either have a trove loot, which is what the purple chest icon means, yep. each, or we can have a training point and an extra progress point. But there's a possibility we'd fail. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, it's not failure. It's ah. bumping up the tyrant encounter. True. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Uh, I think I'd like the training point personally. Yes. Okay, so we are going to go with that. So we each have to roll this, and if we get a one or a two, we yes. have to advance the tyrant encounter. I did not. You did Woo. not. Okay. So we training are. Training point, good. and we have an extra. Progress, point. progress. So we have four out of the six required. Uh, I'm going to try on attack, I think. And I will succeed. So that is good. Okay. I'm going to go with my shield form. And I think I will also do the sword advance. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so. Mm, end of day action. I guess scout. It's all I really need to do. So I can look at a five or a one. Uh, we already know the five, so I'll go ahead and look at the one. Oh yeah, this fellow again. Yeah, he's fine. We're much better prepared to deal with him now that we have a little bit of offense going on. Were you also scouting? Yes. There's, yes. Because you could have tried to trade in your bog meat, for oh. example. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, we already know what the one yeah. is, so. So. Okay. On next, the next day. Encounter. Day. Oh, day. Day. <laughs> uh, right. And our encounter is something exciting. So go ahead and pause it if you want to read it. And let's see what our choices are. Right. We've read pretty much all of these cards <laughs> multiple times is why we're not. Um, actually we haven't because we sh the, the thingies are shuffled and so that's not necessarily after three. I, I know, but Sorry. we've played it enough times to have that's seen true. the cards a that's crap true. jillion times. Thank you. Jeez. All right. So, um, <laughs> Essentially, we're going to fight either way. Yep. We're getting the same. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty rough either way. I mean, we're, I'm a melee person. I can't go for the ranged people first unless I walk into them. So I'm pretty indifferent. Hmm. But I mostly only roll defense die anyway. Yeah, well, and we know that two out of 
four of our upcoming guys will be melee anyway, so maybe we should go with the first option. Yeah. Okay, so ba BQ baddie points Which means eight. day four times two players means eight, so five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we go like that. And this guy has five, oh, uh, well, I put him out of order, <laughs> has five hit points, so we'll get his token here, one, two, three, four, five, for him, and his initiative is a four, so we'll get him in there, next up is this fellow, who has three hit points, so we'll get those, like so. And his initiative is a two. So we'll get him in there. Now our first question mark. Ah, Dragon Hatchling. Engulf means his attack works kind of like my explosives. The upside is it can hurt bad guys as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's a range that wants to target the weakest. So it's definitely a problem for me. Uh, considering our five pointer. Well, and we can't even touch this I guy. Until oh, no, wait. Yeah, pointer. until we kill the hip. All right, so he has three hit points. Ooh, and a six initiative. He's a spicy guy. Luckily, I do actually have defense, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now, uh, oops. <laughs> Here's a six. Ooh, an orc. Yep, a raiding orc. Oh, and there is one other orc. What raiding means is... Uh, for every other orc, he gets an extra attack die. So he does get two dice at the moment. Ooh, and he's also going to be targeting me and is also ranged. Oh. So this is going to be exciting. Yeah. Uh, let's see, three hit points. Like so. And of course, the two unknowns were both ranged. Uh, and he has a four initiative, so there's a chance I can go before him, which would mean, which would mean at least getting to roll my defense dice. Yep. Uh, woo! I do get to go before him. I will be after the two fours. <laughs> yes, indeed you shall. Okay. Oops, take her off a blood droplet there. So round... One. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll stay yeah, safely in my corner. That guy wants two targets if he can get them, so don't give him incentive to move towards you. True. Actually, in which case, yeah, it would make more sense for me to be here, because now there's no physical way he can manage it. Wait, what? How? Because if oh. he's here, he can hit you and not me. If he's here, he can hit me and not you. You and not me. Etc. Mm -hmm. Etc. Et ah, See what I'm yeah. saying? There's no physical way he could get both of us. Whereas if I was here, he could, he could move, move over move here and yep. get both of us. So that makes more sense. All right, so six is this little fellow who is going to plink me with his fire boomer. Okay, hit me for one. All right, then it is my turn. Normally, I would be rolling all my components right now. But I really feel like I should roll my defense dice. Maybe one defense in your component? Well, I've got two pegging me, oh, that's so. True. Yeah, roll the defense. I don't have the hit points I'd to like take a lot of chances. Them. Oh, crap! What? The start of the battle. I have to roll. <laughs> do your thing. Just do your thing. <laughs> Explain your thing. Roll okay, your so everybody has an in innate ability. Mine is the shield wall. And that means at the start of battle, I can roll all my defense dice, only the white dice, and I will place those in my active slots. Um, meaning I can have them to start the round with. I can pull them out and use them. I'll have the defense to start. She the wouldn't game. find herself in the situation I did with the dragon, where yes. he's attacking me before I've ever had a chance to get any defenses going. Also, if they hang out there and I get my shield bash from my backup plan, it takes all the things out of my active and give, lets me do that much damage with my shields. 
time. Yeah, we set the dice on top of the characters as reminders, but they are in actuality in the active slot, is where they really are. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, it was my turn. I'm definitely rolling the defense. I'm wondering if I should just go with regular attacks. Uh, <laughs> since I can't afford to roll my stuff. No, I think I'll go with two out of three of my components is what I'll do. Then I should be ready to boomer sooner than later. Yeah, that was not as good as I was hoping, but not as bad as I feared. So. Oh. Okay. So then it goes on to Bluebert, who will just uh, move on over and attack you. Yep. With two dice. Yep. For two damage. And then we've got Green, who is going to shoot me with one, oh no, two die because he's raiding. And gets rid of my defense. And then we've got you, who has to target the taunter. Yes. If I, yes, yes I do. So I have one defense to attack, but I only have three, so i really like to roll this guy um, and see if I can't get three usable bones would be cool. But, you know, I'll stick with my one defense and go with two attack in that one. Alright. Not what I was hoping for, but not the worst. That means it's a reusable bone, so it won't exhaust when it's, it's used. Huh. And I hit the guy for two. two. And he does not have any sort of thick skin. What so. does Callus do again? Callus, uh, regular attack dice. Ah, uh -huh, right. Okay. Okay. So finally we have Purple, who makes one lousy little swing at you. Gets rid of your other defense die there. Then we go on to round two. Where yellow again gets to plunk me unarmored, which is unfortunate. I wish I could move next to that guy so he'd be getting hit too, but I can't because mm -hmm. he's a two target. Yep. Ooh, excellent. Boom! That's what I needed to happen. Yes. So me. So definitely my two defense, my last dealie, and I think I will help you work on the taunter. I think that's okay. what I'll do there. Oh, wait, I forgot all about body search. What's body search do? All kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you. This one does exhaust. But if you don't like the result you get on a die, you can choose uh, just not to use it. I'll keep that bone. I can't afford to keep a component bone. That would just completely screw me, so I'm not using that die. This result means that I can have three fake hit points, basically. Oh. They're hit points above my normal. They don't count as real ones. I don't get to add them to my stack or anything. In this fight, I'm thinking that's a real good option. Yeah, so with the little range you get. I'm going to take my them. bonus HPs, and it's now exhausted and out of the battle. And I gain one defense for myself. Good. Man. I can't believe I boned the component. That is... It uh, that's unfortunate. Okay. So Bluey will attack me. With his two dice. Yep. How do you have no defense? I uh, got used up. Cray. So you're going to take three, oh, it's a cat which is points. unfortunate. Green Bean will target me. And take my defense and one of my fake eager points. Then it's you. Then it's me. These two, and this one. I really need to up my, that's why, you know what, I, uh, you know what, this is impossible. Always have a one defense, so. Ugh, usable bones, but I could. Okay, so I hit the blue for two. Which is good. He's yes. almost done. And 
that's it. Okay. So then we've got Purple, who attacks you with his one lousy die. Did you roll no defense? I was trying for this. Are you insane? A little bit. Ugh. You are gonna die, and then I'm gonna die. Well. Okay. So that moves it to round three. Yellow eat attacks fresh me meat. again. Indeed. So um, if I make it. Hex me for one. Another one of my fakey hit points. Uh, then it's me. Let's see, I definitely want my component. We're gonna attack the blue one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's a good breakdown right there. so bad so I'll spend my components and get a bomb counter I'll add a decent amount of defense to myself and, and blue. finish off blue which is good I will live finish Maybe. Off our five. yes no I will live because now I'll roll my defense day okay that's it for me which means it's green bean who attacks. Oh no, now he only gets the one die because yep. there's only one there's orc. There's only one orc now. So he's attacking me and he gets one. Alright, now it's my turn. Still alive. Yeah, I'm going to do it this way. And you are? Rolling uh, to a defense and one attack and I'm attacking the purple guy. Okay. to survive. Crap. But I hit a two. So he's a one. Um, well, two out of three enemies are attacking me at the moment. Oh, crap. No, they're not. You're at two hit points, which means they're going to be attacking you. Well, can... Uh, I got a third bone, which means I could do a do-over. Which means I can reroll all of my dice. As many in, as I want. And these do not exhaust. Those are reusable. So I'll reroll this guy. For another stupid bow. It does nothing. Okay, well, I may die. But I currently have a shield. So You have bog meat. Oh. Oh. I guess so. Which seems silly. But... Oh wait, I, I'm missing one. I need four. There we go. And you now give yourself a poison two die. Yep. Now, well, Phil, explain to us what poison does. Well, basically, on her next turn, it's going to do that much true damage to her, and then it's going to drop down by one. And then the following turn, it'll do that much, and then it'll disappear. Yep. So it's going to hurt, but bought some time. Right. And it did technically, if you count, uh, yeah. Okay, so now purple attacks you with his one lousy die and, and is hits careless. himself in the face. Cool. Awesome. So that's that. You did take the one I hit him for off, right? Because I hit two and he sticks. Oh no, I didn't. No, I surely did not. Okay, so now it's yellow again who attacks me with his one die. Doink. And then it is me. Let's see, I'm gonna take that back. Take this, take this, and this. Uh, and I have no choice but to attack purple because of the event effect. So I will attack purple. Okay, got some defense. And just enough, because thick skin only does it once per, uh, once per attack. So, that will kill so him. So, I think, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that will finish him off. Because it's not two one swords, it's two swords mm -hmm. on a single attack. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, there's that. 
Oh, okay, now we're finally free to attack those guys. Yep. All right, so that means That's it's Green, green Bean's time. turn. Attacks me with one. And then it is... Wait, My did turn. I just advance the round marker or not? I... I don't think I... Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, so it's your turn. One, two. Sounds like a plan. And only having one dexterity left. I do have a defense up already. So I'll roll one attack die and attempt to attack. Okay. Great. For one. Okay. Alrighty. Now the round moves on to five. And. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and attack yellow to minimize the amount of. It was Oh yeah, <laughs> it is. Attacking me for one, blah blah blah, and I'll pull the thing back. And now you attack yellow. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste a boomer. Fatigue will finish them soon enough. Yep. Ah, oh, dang it! That oh. I get a bone on. Boop boop. And so I get one armor, and I hit him for one. Okay. Okay. So then green will go. Yep. And attack me with his one die. Doing one. And then it is you. And you are no longer poisoned. And not having to move, I will... Use all the dice that you can. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Which ends the round? No, 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 no. I have two of these. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and do a shield bash. Okay. And I'm going to use my active dice. I'm going to use one of my active dice. And I'm going to do that much damage to him, okay. which will kill him. Cool. Which sold around, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it was but still that was cool. cooler. Yeah, much more exciting. I okay. killed him. Mm -hmm. Time didn't. <laughs> you can use your backup plan any time during your turn. Yep. And now we are in the fatigue. Everybody takes one. Including that fellow. That fellow will launch his fiery dragon breath at me once again and take away my fake hit point. And then I will attack him just in case I get a crap ton of bones. Oh. <laughs> I didn't put me back on the board. Oh, oh. you. Oh, man. Oh, you're one short. Oh, man. Ah. If you can get six bones in a single combat, you can upgrade your innate ability. I have five. Literally five. Yep. And he dies. Yep. That's ending the combat. Woo! Bliss eye. And I lose my huge collection of bones. Ugh, what a tragedy. What so a tragedy. We're at end of an end of end of day encounter or resolve encounter. Yes, which would what be where was it? Ah, there it is. Two training points and a loot each. Yep. There you are. Oh, wow, we each I got am, a fortunate oh, discovery. Cool. Okay. I am upping my dexterity. Apparently I'm getting an orcish ale. I think I'll take and I, I could hold on to it. In this case. Oh, and you'll notice all the dice have a little number in the top left corner to indicate where in the grid they go. Makes, makes it life easier. To find easier. Yep. And makes the compulsive OCD types have to sit there and organize the dice in the tray by number. Yes. Which but is the trays fun. are super cute. I, some of our stuff is. Hmm. I just said compulsive not... OCD. You did. 
<laughs> I don't fall victim to ATM machine and stuff like that, but apparently compulsive OCD is my uh, Achilles heel. Yep. It, for those wondering, it's redundant. OCD stands for obsessive compulsive disorder. So compulsive compulsive is basically what I said. Okay. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yep, answers that stuff back. Uh, oh, right. Yes. You want to make this one a two-parter? <laughs> it is running on a little long, isn't yes. it? Yes. Um, yeah, I guess we should probably do a second gameplay segment. Because uh, I do want you guys to see a tyrant. They're pretty exciting fights. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and pause for just a moment. You know, go get yourself a nice cup of orange juice or, you know, whatever you like. And uh, we'll head on over to part two.